Hello everybody and welcome back to Old School Wednesday. We're playing Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis and fuck, dude, this guy goddamn died. Uh, and then I'm like, oh my god, it's something terrible has happened. Oh, uh, sucks to be him. That's, that's, mm. Okay, exposed eel head. Looks like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. Well, I think I know what bead we should use. Let's try to use bead in head. It fits perfectly. Whoa. Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Okay. Pick up eel. That looks like it's the same design as what's on her necklace, doesn't it? Can I look at... Listen. Yes? Mind if I look at your necklace? Is that the same spiral design as what's happening right here? Thanks. You think? I mean, not that kind of or. And then we're just gonna fucking leave him there? We're not gonna call the authorities? We're not gonna phone his fucking children who are probably waiting at home, hoping that he gets back from his expedition soon so that they can all go shopping Let's for the food or toys? Something fucking horrifying is happening here. Now we're gonna get to this guy, and he's gonna be a zombie, and he's gonna be like, I don't wanna trade with you except for brains. Blah. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What you got? I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully. I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Ward Collection, got that? The Ward? I think so. The Ward Collection. collection. Very good, nice doing business with you. The Ward Collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Ward Collection. Where's that? What is this? A research laboratory somewhere in Germany. Dr. Uberman. Fantastic Uberman. News. Colonel, at last. Yes, Mr. German Nem. See what Herr Jones has kindly provided. Herr Jones. What on earth? Isn't it amazing? I love that we still you speak know, English with our thick German accents. This, this, this. Prehistoric knickknack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knickknack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. The lost city of Atlanta. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal plato called Orichalcum? Orichalcum? Here, concealed in the base, is a small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my Herr Jones. guess we found the treasure we see. I never get. We must test. It's live. My God. We've done it. We've destroyed our laboratory. Without any radioactivity, and those smug American scientists know nothing. That gives me an idea. Yeah, yeah. The feet inside the statue's open mouth. You saw that? What the fuck is happening right now? Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Use your imagination, Colonel. Think big like the Americans. Think of bombs. I don't know what the fuck is happening right now. That was the cheesiest thing I've ever witnessed, and I love it. The library is upstairs, right? Hey! So why are you dragging me in here? Don't you like colleges? This is Caswell Hall. We stole all our junk here. <laughs> this is Caswell Hall. We store all our junk here. 
You think Plato's lost dialogue is junk? <laughs> I believe it's as real as Atlantis. All right, Mr. Cynic, start searching. I'll meet you in your office. Jesus Christ. All right, let's go upstairs and find out some books. All right, books on dig sites. Oh, this is the... <laughs> uh, let's talk to books. There's nothing of importance here. Tipped over bookcase. I believe it's part of the old Ashkenazi collection. The Ashkosh Bagash collection. There's nothing of importance here. Tools, pots, bookcase. Hmm. Use mayonnaise on rope. I'll do it just for you guys. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> How about if I use rope? Hey, I'm gonna go upstairs to where I fell earlier. That should not- alright, they should just put stairs in. Okay, let's look at- let's start left to right here. Is there anything over here? No. Look at Big Crate. The label says, unidentified potsherds. Okay. Look at shelves. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. Shelves. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. Do, 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 do. Can I leave this room? I can't reach it. Oh, yeah, that's right. There was the totem pole. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Can I use totem pole? Well, that won't help me here. What if I pick up rope? I can't pick that up. Hmm. Use mayonnaise on hole. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. What if I use whip with hole? I don't think that'll work. Hmm. I honestly, all right, because they describe the mayonnaise as looking like motor oil, I think I have to either switch it out with motor oil at some point or use it as though it were motor, motor oil. Uh, well, oh, wait a minute. What is this? Pick up arrowhead. Look at. It's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. Ooh, I can cut something with my arrowhead. Dope. Hmm. I think I have to- I think I have to come up here. Oh, what if I pull Big Crate? Hey! I think this is it. It won't come any further. Hmm. Perhaps if I push Big Crate. What is this shit? Open. Chest. Locked. Hmm. Can I pick up I chest? I can't pick that up. Can I pull chest? I can't move it. Can I use arrowhead on chest? That didn't do anything. Hmm. What if I use mayonnaise on chest? That didn't work. Shit. See, all right, so here's what I was hoping to have happen. I tried to use the mayonnaise. I... Here's what I was trying to do. I was trying to move the big crate so it was under the hole and then climb it to get up into the next room. Perhaps if I do the same thing with the totem pole. The floor isn't slippery enough. It won't move. Is that right? Well then, use... This is the time, folks. Use mayonnaise with floor. <laughs> Fuck yes, guys! It totally worked! We did it! Pull. Totem pole. Pull. Uh, pull. Totem pole. Use 
Totem pole. Ba 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 ba. This is where we started the game. Let's let's investigate. Pick up statue. I'm just gonna try and pick everything up now, man. Gloom. Can I pick up urn? I'm gonna walk around with an urn. I don't want to disturb it any more than necessary. Okay. Well, let's look at statue. Statue, candlestick, chest. Is it what chest? Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. Perhaps if I open chest, I can't lift the lid. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to be out of mayo. That doesn't make any sense. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. Chest, candlestick. It's a genuine candlestick. I could use it to kill a genuine butler. What if I... pull a candlestick? I can't move it. Aha! No. It must be made out of lead. There. I'm confused. I didn't actually pick up the candlestick. Oh, I moved it aside. Oh, oh shit! Oh, fuck! I moved the candlestick aside. Maybe now I can open the box. Guys. Use. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Look at. It's full of air. As it was an empty chest, and I was all excited. Oh, I already talked to the statue of Horus. I don't think that'll work. It's a crude copy of a Persian idol. Gargoyle? It's a medieval gargoyle, or a good imitation. Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. Dude, I'm so confused. There's not any more rooms, is there? What if I open... Oh. Open statue. It doesn't seem to open. I can't move it. I can't move it. I can't move it. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. I'm relatively convinced that there's actually nothing here. So, do I... I have to be more careful around these things. I don't think that'll work. Can I not go down the trash... Can I not... Wait a minute. Doesn't seem to close. Close. It won't close. Trap door. How about if I use whip? I don't think that'll work. How do I, I have to be more I have to be more careful around these. I have to be more careful around these. Oh, things. okay, there we go. Yeah, I know we're looking for the ward collection, but I I I just assumed it would be up there. You know? Like I Does ward mean something? To anybody? What is a ward? A ward is somebody who you take care of, right? Like who you're responsible for. Look at gargoyle. Look at candlestick. Look at statue. I looked at them. I looked at the urn. I looked at this statue. I looked at the peculiar statue. It's a crude copy of a Persian idol. Maybe it's because it's... Wait a minute. What if I pull Peculiar Statue? I can't move it. What if I push Peculiar I Statue? What if I use I don't Peculiar think Statue? Work. What if I... Yeah, so, okay. We're getting... We're getting ideas here. I like it. I like it. What if I use... Whip? I don't statue? think that'll work. Hmm. Do you guys think it's at all possible that, um any more pieces to the puzzle. Ooh, you know what? I got an idea. What if we use lamp 
with candlestick. Maybe we can light the candlestick. Well, that doesn't seem to work. How about if we open kerosene lamp and use opened lamp with candlestick? Well, that candle doesn't stick. seem to work. No. The urn's already got somebody in there. I'm bothered by your use of logic, Habant. I don't believe in that kind of thing. I will use the kerosene lamp with the urn. Well, that doesn't seem to work. But then I'll go back to, uh, yeah, use dirty rag. I don't think that'll work. Okay, all right, so I do agree that the dirty rag and the coal are probably used in this puzzle because I found the dirty rag and the coal downstairs. I think that's what we're trying to do here is use, because I used the mayonnaise here, and the mayonnaise was from my office, which is downstairs. I just, what if I use dirty rag with statue? I don't think that'll work. What if I use arrowhead with statue? That didn't do anything. What was the arrowhead again? It's from the shamut collection. The shamut. Very sharp. I've had to do that burp for like ten, 10 minutes now. It's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. What if I use Arrowhead with Statue? That didn't do anything. What if I use Arrowhead with... Horus Statue? That didn't do anything. Iceland for the arrow. Really? Were there arrows in Iceland? I'm gonna go check... The library because I don't remember seeing a card catalog, but what if I pick up tipped over bookcase? I can't pick that up. Yes, you can. It's made out of wood. Hmm. Books on tools, books on pots. School desk. Dig sites and weapons, right? There's nothing of importance here. I think I've read them all. Use kerosene lamp on bookcase. Perfect. I am going to check downstairs just to see if there's any other items that I would have missed when I looked earlier. There's the furnace. Can I open furnace? Can I use coal with furnace? It's hot enough already. Can I use lamp with furnace? Well, that doesn't seem to work. Can I use rag with furnace? I don't want to incinerate that. Oh, okay. I would be... All right. Where's the coal chute bring me? Back it's upstairs, too slippery right? To walk up. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. Let me think. Because there was another room between the library and where I am, wasn't there? In the original area? Can I? I don't think that'll work. Hmm. It says, for sale, Woodstock typewriter with floating carriage, 50 bucks. Okay, so there isn't really anything new on that. I'm not incinerating my whip. Are you out of your mind? Well. Yeah, I did try to climb the chute. It said it was too slippery. I tried to clean it with my dirty rag, but that didn't help either. Uh. Well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's Lost Dialogue. Uh... Well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's Lost Dialogue. <clears throat> Pick up Sophia. 
Yeah. I didn't think there would be I anything can't pick in here. That up. Did I try to use the whip on the chute? No, I didn't. Oh, I see what you mean. Like to try to climb all right, yeah. I'll try that. Cause if there's there's one more room from the opening area that I didn't explore, and it was the the room where the cat scared me and I fell down the chute. That could be the room. I don't think that'll work. That didn't do anything. That'll just make a mess. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. No. Lot, like I'm 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 trying to use my adventure brain and I'm thinking that going all the way up to the top floor was something that I did need to do, right? Like I I I had to come up here. I had to use all of my expertise to know how to click use and then click rope, right? Like that was a puzzle. Uh I came up here and I needed to use the mayonnaise from my um from my office to get this to... Oh, you know what? Is there... Shelves. Inspect shelves. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. The label says unidentified pot shirts. I believe it's part of the old Ward collection. Yeah, all right. So it's it, it's right here. This is the this is the puzzle solving thing, right? It's locked. The thing I want is in that box. I had to use the mayonnaise from the totem pole to get here. So now I got to find the key to the dusty old chest, right? And I tried to use my arrowhead with it to try to like pick the lock or something. That didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. I will use every item I have. That didn't work. Use coal with That'll box. just make a mess. Use lamp with that chest. Seem to work. Open lamp. Use lamp. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Okay, so yeah, I I had a feeling that that was what that was. Okay, so let's climb the totem pole. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. No, I had to use the the I had to use the mayonnaise on the totem pole, man. That's just how adventure games work. The only thing I was able to really interact here with here was the box and the candlestick. I think it's fine right where it is. Okay, so I'm not moving the candlestick. Well, that doesn't seem to work. I open the chest, and then I find out... It's full of air. ...that the chest is empty. I'm convinced that there's something in here that I needed to find. I just haven't clicked it yet. I came Indiana Jonesing right through here, and I landed, like, right here somewhere. Yeah, I probably can. Use arrowhead with chest. That didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, how about I give arrowhead to... Nope, give doesn't work as a command. Um, let's see here. I don't think that'll work. It's a stone carving of Shiva. It's some kind of funeral urn. Damn, dude. I believe it's part of the old Ward collection. Wait, what did he just it's say? Some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old Ward collection. 
I can't move it. I can't move it. That didn't do anything. What the fuck? I tried to open that earlier and it wouldn't let me. Looks like someone's ashes in here. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? I tried to do that earlier. I thought it didn't let me and I moved on. Okay, so that's what I needed. I found the key. Cool. So now we use key that I found inside of ashes of a dead guy. And I use the dusty there's key. The manuscript inside. The lost dialogue of Plato. Nailed it. Guys, we're making progress. Oh, you know what would be hilarious? Is if I read it, learned everything about it, and then destroyed it before I gave it to, uh, Sophia. How funny would that be? It's written in English? Not last I have Plato's Lost Dialogue translated entirely. The Greek original is lost, so I've used the Arabic text I found in an Italian monastery years ago I always thought was a hoax. Now I wonder, could this remarkable book hold the secret to long lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one will publish it, that's certain. I fear... The fear of ridicule is too great. To be safe, I've sent a copy to Ward. Okay. Yeah, I definitely tried to use the urn. I think the problem was I tried to use the urn, but I didn't try to open the urn. Uh, maybe. That could totally be true, man. Yeah, man, fear of ridicule is, um... That's a thing when you go to try and be a scientist and you're trying to publish non-scientific shit. Turns out the scientific community, they don't take kindly to that nonsense. I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Yeah, it was Our upstairs. Jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. No, he's not. Hermocrates. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Yeah, it does. Wait a minute. Was I supposed to s flip through the 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 paper clips? Isn't it obvious? No, it's much too vague. Our only hope is supernatural inspiration. Plato's the one to trust, I think. Oh, so Atlantis vanished 1,000 years before Plato instead of 10,000. How does that help us? Yeah, I think I was supposed to read more of the book. I didn't understand how to turn the pages. Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Plato said that? Enough with your fantasies. I'm talking facts. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. So, Mr. Sal, what's the secret? Be patient, he's lost. Yeah, he's but I think I know 3,000 miles away instead of 300, that big dummy. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Omar al-Jabbar in Algiers. Haven't we talked to enough of these nutcases? Or was it Alain Cartier in Monte Carlo? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. You'll need all three stones. If you want to find Atlantis- If you want to summon Atlantis from the bottom of the sea, like the tomb of Sargeras! How will I find Cartier and Al-Jabbar? Not so fast. 
First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Great. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. I don't, uh... You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. Finally, you someone noticed. You great strength of character. You are resourceful. But you're better with your fists than your head. <laughs> I foresee combat and violence along your path to Atlantis. <laughs> a path too dangerous for me. I'd rather think my way through. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. I like to think. Okay, if that's how you feel, you're on your own. Good luck. I'll send you a postcard. So long, Indy. I'm not 100% sure what it is I just did. I'm like not fully informed on the conversation I just had. Because, uh, let's go to, let's go to this place. You know, like, I feel like I should have read the entire book. I didn't, it didn't occur to me that a clicking the paper clips would change the page of the book. So let's find out what it says here. Uh, in fact, you know what? Let's do it on the next episode of, uh, Old School Wednesday. We'll be right back with more Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Please stay tuned!